Why New York needs bottom line. So our social issue is education for immigrants, and we chose this because we all strongly believe that education is an important right for all people, regardless of where you may have been born or spent the majority of your life growing up. And also, it's the best way to secure a future for yourself and also learn about what's going on in the world today. And our organization is called Bottom Line, and basically they have a very good, clear goal of helping students specifically with college applications and getting into college. And we have heard from many people that that can be a really stressful and complicated time. And coming from another country must only make it harder because you might not necessarily know how to speak the language as easily or um, no, if you're coming to a new country, you might not know the system of how college works. So Bottom Line does a really good job at explaining that and making sure that none of their students are missing out on opportunities that they might not know about. Okay, so what is Bottom Line? So Bottom Line is a nonprofit organization that um, helps low-income first-generation families get into college, do well in college, graduate, and pursue whatever passions they want. So because these families are first generation, usually the students and the families are unaware about the topic of college. And bottom line has such an extensive um, knowledge of the topic that they can really help the families and counsel the students through this difficult time period. Just to give you an overview of who is going to bottom line, 50% of the children are immigrants and 95 are children of immigrants. So bottom line prides themselves on their six core values. The first one being relationships. Second one being persistence. They teach their students never to give up even if they're deferred. Third one being results. For fourth one being efficiency. Fifth one being responsibility. And they all wrap together into excellence, which is what bottom line strives for. So um, raise your hand if you are a student that balances homework and tutors and sports and extracurricular activities. Okay, now raise your hand if you are also working 30 hours a week on top of that. That's what, mo that's what most of these students are going through in order to support their families. And that's a really stressful time and can actually cause some students to feel isolated, which is actually what bottom line helps these students through. So just to give you a quick overview of the two main um, programs, they have the ACCESS program, which is targeted towards students getting into college, which helps them write their college essays and applications, and the SUCCESS program, which is for college students to graduate. And that helps them with um, applying for financial aid, which all of these students need. So what would bottom line use but the $5,000? So in addition to the access and the success program, they also have an emergency fund program, which pays for students' textbooks and metro cards. And we have actually heard stories of students that have had to drop out of college because they couldn't afford the textbooks. So with this $5,000, um, bottom line could actually save some students' education. They also do during finals time and on the students' birthdays, they give them little pick-me-ups or birthday cards, which really speaks a lot to their character and what they do. They also take students and pay for their transportation on college tours, and they pay for their, where they're staying, which is also something that they could use the money for. So Bottom Line works with many students throughout the United States, but we'd like to focus in on the story of one student named Val Devino. He grew up in Boston, attending the Boston Public Schools, and with the help of Bottom Line, he began to apply to colleges such as Tufts University, Boston University, Harvard University, and other state schools that would be more affordable for him and his family. He worked extremely hard in high school, in addition to balancing up to 30 hours a week of working at Target to support himself and his single mother. The money that he made, in addition to the money that his mother made, was all that he had to pay for college. So bottom line helped him to apply for various scholarships, which he eventually earned $20,000 from. His dream school was Northeastern, and with the help of bottom line, he reached his goal of going there and was able to succeed and 
get the job that he wanted after his time in education there. So also, um, we, um, I think it's safe to say that we all want to live in a world where we feel good about the fact that everyone's getting the same opportunities of education. And also as students, we can attest to the fact that we are really grateful and thankful that we get to go to school and learn. And on a more bigger note, we can also say that in order to have a functional democracy, you need to have an educated population, people who know who they're voting for and how to vote, and that's how Bottom Line can come through and help. So uh, to see what education means to the people around us, we asked uh, family, friends, peers, and some people at Bottom Line to just say what uh, education means to them, and we put that, and we uh, put all that into a video for you guys. Education is important because it gives people all around the world a chance for success. I think it's important to have an education so you can know what's going on in the world around you. I think it's important to have a good education because everybody deserves the right to learn. Often immigrants are fleeing the most horrific situations and to come to a country where they can have an education is really setting them up for the best possible life that they can live. It integrates them into the community, it gives them a job, security, like a, a possibility of a good job, it's really incredible for them. The things that I love most about my life today, my family and my friends, um, the work that I do, I could trace it all back to college and to the education that I got and the people that I met there uh, and the teachers who inspired me. Education is important for all immigrants because it helps integrate them into the community and helps them get the best um, paying job possible to support their families. Hi, I'm Courtney. I'm a success team manager, and education for me means opportunities to grow, learn, and develop as a person. Hi, my name is Jeanette Simfavol, and I'm the managing director of programs at Bottom Line. As an immigrant from Haiti, education really helped my parents reach their goals. They came to Haiti with the hopes of me having a college degree and have a career, um, and that has helped me to do that, and I'm so happy. Thank you. My name is Rosella, and I'm a Bottom Line alumni, and education means making my parents proud and taking full advantage of all the opportunities given to me. Hi, I'm Katie. I'm a success counselor at Bottom Line, and education to me means a more just society. Hi, I'm Yana. I'm a college access manager, and education means uh, an opportunity, a lot of different opportunities and a lot of different doors opening, not just for myself, but also for my amazing students. Okay, so just to give you a little bit of an overview of the financials for Bottom Line, in the fiscal year of 2017, they received $9.7 million in donations, grants, and gifts. And in that same year, they spent $9.5 million on their program services. So just to give you an idea of what that looks like, that 97% of the money they spent of their donation, grants, and gifts went directly into their program services. And there's approximately 2.3% of overhead, which is $220,000. So if that's not devotion to helping get students into college, go far, and have better opportunities in life, then I'm not really 100% sure what is. Um, some statistics. One in five New York City public school um, high school freshmen will receive a college degree in 12 years. And this is exactly what Bottom Line is trying to change. They want to get every student into college with an opportunity to graduate, have a great job, and go far in life. 81% of the most recent class using Bottom Line graduated from college in six years or less. This shows that the program is working. They're getting students through school. Um, come on. 75% of, um, of uh, graduates from bottom line are either in uh, graduate school and or in a full-time paying job. So they're either further advancing their education or they have the opportunities to do whatever they want thanks to bottom line. And 100% of the most recent class in the ACCESS program, the program that is designed to get students into college, were accepted into, all, into colleges that I, they applied to. So we were fortunate enough to go visit the Bottom Line headquarters in Brooklyn, and while we were there, we spoke with a few of their program directors 
to learn more about the work that they do there. We also noticed that the space, although it was small, was a very collaborative space for people to work with their counselors and really have a good place to go when they just need time to continue working and really get away from home and make progress on their college application process. And because of the impact that this experience had on us, we decided to hold a bake sale we, where we raised $350 that we will donate to Bottom Line. And we're so happy that we're able to hopefully make an impact on the lives of these students who deserve the education. And we're really trying to give that to them. Uh, thank you. All right, what audience is scoring their rubrics? Um, I'm going to turn it over to the judges. If you have comments or questions, can we start here? David? What do you think they call it bottom line? It's a phrase we normally associate with business rather than with charity. Well, uh, I think they're just trying to represent that these are the people that wouldn't necessarily have that opportunity. They're the low income immigrant families in New York City. Um, they're at like that bottom line, and then this is giving them the opportunity to go far and with, uh, for, with the job. Hi, my question is, do you know how they find their students? Um, how do students find their way to the bottom line program? Yeah, so basically it is a walk-in, so any students that need it, they can just walk in and ask them. So you don't have to like apply or anything. If you need the help, then you can just walk in. And a lot of students hear about it from like family members or other friends. And in addition, Bottom Line um, is associated with many schools throughout the city and other cities in the United States. So students who need this kind of help can go to a guidance counselor or, or a principal or other teacher at their school and they can then be referred to bottom line. And just one follow-up question. Do you know how many students they're helping approximately per year? Um, 400 and f uh, 440 roughly in the access program, getting it students at the high school, and 2,100 to 20, 20, 2,100 to 2,200 in the um, success program in college. Sorry, I didn't, didn't mean to prolong this, but um, do you know whether there are any uh, dreamers, so-called dreamers, in, in the uh, group of immigrant students, or are they all legal immigrants? Well, a lot of the students' parents are um, not legal immigrants, but they don't, they don't care about that. They don't ask. It's, uh, yeah. You get help regardless of who you are. Thank you so much. Um, the next